Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to run uh, Windows XP on your newer system. Uh, first what you're going to need is VirtualBox as we're creating a virtual machine. So you're going to go to VirtualBox.org and you're going to click on Download VirtualBox. It's going to bring you to this page. What you're going to need to do is click on the Windows host and then your download will start. You're also going to need to download the extension pack right here. Um, I have a video on installing VirtualBox and installing the extension pack. I will link that down below so you can see how to install that. Next, what you're going to need is Windows XP. So I'll put this link in the description. Archive.org. It's an internet archive where people store lots of uh, files and links and all kinds of stuff. But what you can find here is XP Pro Service Pack 3. This is the 32-bit version. And it also has the key listed right here for installation. You will click the download icon and then check your downloads and it will be right here. So after we have that, what we're going to do so we are going to launch VirtualBox. All right, you can see we already have a Windows 11 machine. We're going to click on New, and we're going to type in Windows XP 32-bit ISO image. This is what we just downloaded. So we're going to select our Windows XP disk right there. All right. Detected OS type Windows XP 32-bit. All right. And we're going to hit Next. There we go. Okay, so when you get to this screen, you can set your username as to whatever you want, password to whatever you want. Um, put in the product key that's found on the website. You can set a host name, a domain name, whatever you want. And what we're going to do is hit next. And you can select what, how much memory you want to allocate to it. This really depends on your system and how much memory or RAM that you have. Um, I'm going to give it four uh, uh, I'll give it four gigs of RAM and processors I'll give it three I'll give it three processors All right, next create a virtual hard drive you can select this to go as large or as you want to for whatever your needs are just make sure you have enough space on your local drive to create that. Alright, and then we're going to hit next. Alright, now we're going to hit finish. And it's going to power the VM up. And it's going to go right into Windows Setup. Okay, we are in Windows. <laughs> if our little pop-ups will finally stop. Now we are in Windows. Um, you can go in here and change your resolution if you want to. So here we are within Windows. So now that you've got this booted up, something that you want to do is go to Devices, 
and go to insert guest editions CD image. After you've done that, go to start my computer and you'll see VirtualBot guest editions. You're going to want to install this because it lets you apply all of the special features like um, folder sharing and clipboard sharing and all, being able to add in USB devices and just all sorts of stuff like that. And what that's good for is if you wanted to uh, use say a game controller if you want to use a certain um, type of equipment that wouldn't work with Windows uh, 7, 8, 9, <laughs> 9, 7, 8, 10, uh, any 64-bit version. If you needed Windows XP for a certain device, um, it would be great for that. Okay, so now that we're back in Windows, you can do whatever you want to do. Just remember that you've got a very old web browser here. I hope you'll find that useful. Thanks for watching.